YouTube, what up? It's your boy, DJ Sean, back again with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be discussing just my beginner DJs out there, man. Don't do my mistakes and buy everything that you want or you think you need or something like that. I know I've done a video on this before, but I just gotta keep like ramming it in the home. You don't need nowhere near a fourth of the equipment that I own. You, the base, okay. Let me slow down for a second. The only thing you need to DJ is, and I'm gonna put it like this, generally, okay? If you're doing vinyl, you need some records, okay? But you don't even need records for that because we got time-coded vinyl now, so you can use MP3s. Um, you must have a DVS system. That's neither here nor there. Um, if you have a controller, you know, you're either using Serato, or you're using Virtual DJ, or Record Box, or, or something else like that. So, you, of course, you're gonna have to have the music. All right, the next thing you're gonna need is probably some speakers, okay? My recommendation is get two 12-inch speakers, get two 12-inch tops. You don't have to worry about the subs for the, for the moment. You don't you don't even need subs for like 92% of the events that you're gonna be doing. You don't need subs. You do not need subs. Listen, I have a ton of subs behind me. Like, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven subs in this building, seven, okay? From EKXs to Mackie SRM 2850s to the 1850s to the uh, Euralive B1200D Pros, which these speakers are amazing. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep saying it because I love bringing out my little micro setup. Um, I run that with uh, two Alto 8s and you hide them underneath the table. Nobody even knows what hits them until the bass is already out there. So it is what it is. But if I could go back in time and I could redo everything that I've done, okay? The first thing I would do, the first thing that I would do, I know I just said it there. The first thing that I would do, network. Networking, networking, networking. The second thing I would do, because of course you gotta get your name out there, you have to network, you get some bar gigs and stuff like that. Bars always have their own equipment, all you have to do is bring a laptop. So that's not really too hard to do. The second thing I would do is get two 12 inch speakers, two 12 inch powered subwoofers. And I ain't talking about the Behringer tops because listen, I've heard the Behringer tops. The mid range is awful. It is ear ringing awful, do not do it. So I'm gonna recommend some 12 inch tops that you can get under $500 for two. And they're a thousand RMS. Uh, my boy, DJ Bright Eyes, always do, always do videos on the same brand that I always recommend, the Alto, the TS uh, 212s, 312s, not the 212s. The 212s are only 1100 watts, and I think it's only 550 RMS, but no, you don't want those. You want the TS 312s, that's what you want. You want the 312s. You get two of those, you get two speaker stands, you get the scrims that come in white and black, and you get your little table, and you can even do a tablecloth. That's all you need. That is absolutely all you need. You can rock out a crowd of up to 350 plus on that. That's it. Angle them high enough in the air where if you have people on the dance floor, they're not they're not blocking the sound waves. That's it. That's it. Here I have tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment in, in this building. I did an estimate. I'm not even gonna say how much I have because it kind of uh, irked my nerves a little bit to, to realize how much money I have invested in in, in my business. But it, again, it's an investment. Um, I can do things that no other DJs around here can do, which is amazing because um, I'm always sought out for. So that makes me unique in this in this area, okay? But in bigger cities, they have the same equipment I have. So it's like, what am I bringing to the table besides my personality? My personality is everything, okay? And I hear these questions about line arrays. A lot of people have been asking, line arrays, are they good? I heard two pairs of line arrays. The first one I heard was the Evolve 50s, the EV Evolve 50s. I think they sound good. 
okay? They have a wide dispersion. They actually throw sound. I think they're good. Um, the one problem is, like DJ uh, Rick Webb said, they're too dazzling low. If they had an adjustable height where you can adjust them over the crowd, it would be fine. I mean, I don't see no reason why not getting them. But due to that floor, he's right. I don't care who you are. If you have the Evolve 50s, you know that man's right. Because the minute you block those waves, it's over. It's done with. Okay, bye. You can't hear it in the back of the room. You just can't. And that's why when you raise the tops, you always raise the speakers above people's ears. And sometimes you even angle them down because certain speakers have angles. I have a, one set of speakers I actually angle down. Um, those are my K12s, but I don't even use those. But it doesn't, again, see, it doesn't even matter. But, um, here we go. So, to my beginner DJs out there, it's not about the equipment. Just get you some basic equipment that'll get you through your events until you build up the capital to buy you some better equipment. I wouldn't even say better equipment because honestly, those 312s, they'll, they'll keep you going. They're a thousand RMS. Thousand. They're, I think, uh, 132 dBs, I think. I think, that, I think that's right. Uh, my speaker's a nice facade to cover it all up that's all you need um they make a rockville facade that i have um i actually had the rock i bought the rockville like three years ago i've had that i have i've had that facade forever the newest facade that i think i've bought is the pro x one which is the big five panel one but they're like ginormous five panel ones they're like uh two feet they're two feet wide yeah they're two feet wide so it's 10 feet across that's the one I wanted because I just wanted to be able to hide my big subwoofer behind it so I had a clean look because I'm, I'm all about appearances as well. I think uh, appearances come first when you're trying to impress somebody. Your skills is always going to outshine your appearance, but you always want that appearance. You want that wow factor like that boom. Now, as for lighting, this is why I'm doing this video right now. If I was to Roll to this. If I was actually just to turn the camera and show you my lighting uh, corner, because I have a lighting corner. This is my speakers, this is my facades, and then I got uh, my up lightings, my moving heads, and everything else. And I got some moving heads on top above me. And I got some other uh, old equipment above me, which is per se my uh, passive stuff, okay? Because I still have my passive equipment, which is fine. Getting into lighting, I just moved, okay? And I'm not lying, I'm not joking. I just moved six bags of ADJ hex pars. There's four in a bag, so they're the hex packs. Four. I paid uh, the first, I think four, I think I paid uh, $3.99 for them. Then they bumped up to like, I think it was like $4.59 or something like that, I, I, don't, I don't recall. That's close to $3,000 worth of uh, lights that I don't even use anymore. Will I sell them? No, I'm not gonna sell them because I won't get my money back. I'd just rather hold on to them. At least I can say, hey, that's what I spent my money on. Why don't I use them lights anymore? Well, let's get to this. It's called evolution. I knew it was coming. Um, before long, I, I knew battery operated would be the way to go. Wireless uh, DMX would be the way to go. And now we're here at this forefront. So I've updated all my other lights um, to the Rockville pars and the wedges. Um, I have some ADJ um, profile par pluses, I think they are. Yeah, I have those, and I use those as well. And I have the Blizzard, um, the Blizzard LB hexes, which those don't have uh, wireless DMX, but I do have the Bluetooth dongles anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I don't use those lights anymore. And then let's get into the bars and and every other light that I have, I probably have, and I'm not joking, I probably have over $16,000 worth of lights over there alone, maybe more. I think, you know, it might be 19 to 20. It's, it's some it's some, it's some number over there. It, it, I have lights that people, that, that's discontinued now, but you can't get them. 
just like I had the motion drape up. I thought the motion drape, well, the motion set, I want to say motion drape, but the motion set comes with the uh, the drape and it comes with the facade. When I bought it, it was $5.99. Actually, when I bought them, I got robbed because they had a special where you bought it from, where did I buy it from? I forgot what I bought it from. I bought it from Pro Audio Sound or something like that. And I got it for $5.99. And then after I received it, then I went on to like another site. I forgot what it was, but they had the motion set and they had the um, they had the, the stand, which I didn't need the stand, but but still they had the stand and the, the light stand and everything that came with it for $5.99 free shipping. So I felt like I was kind of robbed, but I had already bought my stand. So I really didn't care at that point in time. I was just excited and I got to use it um, two years later. <laughs> And I only use them for Christmas events, but you know what? My client that hires me every year for the Christmas events, they love that setup. And and I do too. So I'm gonna start using it more. Actually, I'm gonna use it for the winter formal that I have coming up next month on the 18th. So, whoop, hurricane high, winter formal. I'm bringing it there and I'm just gonna use the cool, like uh, the, the blues and the whites. And that's all I'm gonna use because since it's a winter formal, you know, you get that ice look, so. It's all good. I'm gonna uh, decorate the place uh, cool blue and and pure, and pure white around, so it's gonna look nice. But yeah, that's all you need. Oh, and for lighting, for like dance lighting, don't listen to nobody. Get you a dag on um, a Chevy. What is it? A Chevy Gig Bar IRC or 2.0, and turn them ugly derbies off. You know the the lights that unless you have fog, don't use those lights. Like, I hate them dot lights. I don't know if it's just me. I hate those dots lights. Like, they look so reckless. And I'm saying reckless just to be a little conservative on the ugliness of those lights. They're ugly. But now, when you have the fog, it shows the beams, and you'll see them like... Now they look good. You have a little bit of atmosphere in there. Nice. Lovely. I love them. No atmosphere, don't use those lights. Just don't don't do it. Just just don't do it. But you need it, you need lights, get you a gig while IRC is the best thing for your buck and you call it a day. It takes 10 minutes to set up and, and it's over. And then I would recommend you get a get some gravity stands because gravity stands is the way to go. It just is. So yeah, I know this video was longer than what I interp what I intended it to be. And then I started rambling a little bit. It is what it is. I'm putting up equipment from this weekend and cleaning out my building best as I can because I have to put a lot of stuff in my uh, trailer and that's about it just trying to get me some some room so hey it's your boy DJ Sean I'm signing off like this video subscribe if you don't like it give me a thumbs down if you like it give me a thumbs up I'm just out here just putting some content out you know when things come to mind and the point of this video is don't spend money when you don't have to. If somebody would have told me this when I started a long time ago, and I thought that it would impress clients if I had everything that I wanted, that I thought that they wanted, I would have slapped myself in the face and said, stop it, grow up. Hey, I'm off of here. <laughs>